uh, YouTube. I see it right now, I see an Ikoria box with Godzilla killing the monsters. Yeah, and I can actually hear myself a little bit. I like that too. Alright everybody. It is Proximus Region and guest box opener through Media Land. It is Kaitastrophe. Say hello, Kaitastrophe. Hey, what's happening, buddy? How are ya? Doing good. Getting ready to bust open this box of Ikoria. This was uh, the promo box topper. Looks pretty fun. Nice foil. Let's see if we can get some better... Uh... Oh, there we go. Some nice focus. And I'm gonna kind of leave this nice uh, Voyager-esque music playing in the background. It should be nice. I'm actually going to turn off the, uh... There we go. Alright. So now we are officially doing box opening. I had the monitor of the, the, the music in the background in my ear. So I uh, just turn that off. So I have a feeling because of my set up here. This is going to be the best live stream ever, because I'm basically a tech god. <laughs> got the music, we got the video. The only thing I didn't do was a secondary scene with that sweet music playing with live stream starting shortly. Always something to aim for right there. I could... Yes. It's been a while since I've live streamed, so... Yeah. Well, this should be good. Woo! been having fun with Ikoria and Arena. Oh. I like some of the mechanics that's brought to the table. I didn't know this came with a secondary thing. Normally, maybe the store just gave hey. me this. I think... Huh. We are about to find out. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's so fragile and hard to open at the same time. Bend it a little bit. Preserve the resale value. Whoa! Okay, so what I've also got is my TCG player app. So I can scan as we go. Um, we got... Destroy Ra! Destroy Ra! I'm still trying to get the, the... The cam is one of the older ones, it's the auto focus so it does take a bit. I do have one of these fantastic lights though. Which are great. So let's do a little scan on this and see what it's running for. Basically I'm gonna scan the um, the high end ones. Kind of the ones that are worth some money. Yep, How's take a peek at that level. Yes. Add with scan. Is that a foil? It is. It's a foil um, extended border. Very nice. Let's see, I might have to add it manually. If it takes too long to uh, do this as we go, basically, uh, I'm trying to just get a, a total of what I end up with from the box. Yep. Sometimes it doesn't auto pick up the um, destroy the perfect life forms. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. 527. I'm wondering now if that's just for the... I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that's for the foil. Let's see if it's got a multiplier for foils. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess it must not be that. Whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather. Oh, that's the Everquill Phoenix. Yeah, yep. I. <laughs> All right. I don't have That's... multiple screens up, so if I... I don't know, was that you who sent me a message? No, I didn't send you a message. I do have MTG Goldfish up on the side, though, so if you want me to yes. pull something, I can... I would appreciate that. Help out with that. That would be, like, uh, perfect. Alright. Happy to assist. Yeah. I, I highly appreciate it, cool. and your help is very much coveted. I do like that. That crackles out. It's nice. I'm trying to get this light perfect. Got that angle, it looks nice. I can see that pretty clear. And everybody out there in TV land, we appreciate your uh, kindness and awesomeness. A foil cloud piercer. Hey. And uh, an offspring revenge. And uh, pretty much I'm just going to cruise through the rest of these. Uh, stuff like this. I think it's really the big money ones. Yep, get up to the uncommons, rares, and mythics. Yes. So, I'm gonna see if this does work real quick. The auto could be the background. TCG player. There we go. Oof! Offspring's Revenge, 21 cents. Let's see what we get for Oil Cloud Piercer, 9 cents. Well, so. we're off to a good start. <laughs> That's part of the fun. Uh, a layer of the beast just ran through and attacked. There's a lot of packs to pull from. I'm sure we'll see some pretty cool stuff as we move along. I was going to try to open the packs in front. I don't think it's going to work. Once again, everybody out there, thanks for bearing with my awesomeness. More tokens, a couple nice lands, a Horn Bash Mentor, and a Savi Trium. Honestly, I think these are going for a decent amount. Let's see. And then... Um, it a non-foil Savi? Yes. Yeah, they're floating 5 to 7 on MTG Goldfish listing. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, 515. I'm glad that they brought them back. I mean, that's either they kind of go in the way of colorless, which means you can yeah. put them in any deck, or either give you a lot of options for making uh, mana so yep. that you can put lots of different colors in. Oh, that growth deck that I've been playing with with you has relies on the uh, uh, what is the other one there, the Zygome. Oh, yeah. It's, yes. The, oh, hey, look. We got an Ermory, Amori the Collector. Hey. I was surprised at how low some of the companions were, but some of the companion um, border is it 46 cents and uh, oh whoa hey I didn't know they had uh, non-mythic altars hey porky parrot that's pretty cool and some cool. beastie art I like that porky parrot 18 cents still going in the cool pile I still think I'm gonna uh, probably go out and spend an extra hundred bucks or something on a um, different camera. This is a 1080 camera, but it, it doesn't always um, get something wide angle, so you yes. get a little more screen coverage. Yes. 
Like, I can see from my angle that it's still, it does the autofocus. Maybe there's an option that I haven't messed with in there, but... Oh, the here we go. Look bad. Like, when you hold the card up to it, the card looks pretty decent as you're shuffling through. <laughs> Once again, welcome to the Proximus Region Show, where it may not seem that I know what I'm doing... But I always end up doing what I know. Hey, we're getting to dig through a box of Ikoria. Fuck That's yeah. all that matters right there. Hey, stream seems to be running fine. Yeah, it looks great. It's been a while. It's like the first time I've really streamed with my own, um, in a while with my own super fast 5G Wi Fi intranet. Pumping so that high speed internet. That's a rare. All right, so we got a shark typhoon rare. Yeah. Nice. Which that's a fun card. That's a fun one to play with. I knew that was going to be a powerful card. Four thirty-five, and yeah, it's really a huge part of the. Oh, hey, cool. Yeah, it's not bad for a paper rare. I'm really glad. Pouncing shore shark. I'm glad. That's they... some fun art. Yeah, I'm really glad they went back to some of this different art. That's always been my. Why don't they uh, do more of the old school art? Right. Yeah. All the way around, yeah, that would be fun. That would be neat to see some of the older card styles and stuff just brought back for the sake of doing the styling, even. This is my. Uh, I just really like this card. Get a I lot love the of art on it. Destroy a target enchantment. One. There's nothing else. There's some <clears throat> stuff they'll say exile enchantments and stuff, but. I mean, it's so multi use. If you got to proliferate that going on, it can be helpful. I mean, the enchant enchantment pops huge. And then, hell, four life if you need it. Yeah, it's, uh, hey, you play fires in a dimension. On that same turn, I leave one mana open and I destroy it. Yep. I literally did that. I did end up going, uh, three and three in the arena open. I. Shit, that's not bad. No. Considering how many people were playing that. And I didn't use, uh, um,. I didn't, I did, I had the exact cards for that cycle deck that, that's the most winningest right now, um, with Luris, and I decided to go with my own homebrew. Yep. And, um, honestly, I, it's, you know, I, I still feel like, oh, that would have been cool to do it a different way, but, um, hey, I was happy with the outcome. I did want to get to today, but a foil alter art now stuff like that is just just great in and of itself oh that's cool i have vulpa Keat, no less this light so, and then you said that's a foil yeah gotcha nice nice this light i have that's, is fantastic that's another one of the counter ones that's uh that's fun to play with you can get it out for reasonably cheap for a two three it's flying only 13 cents, but it's fun to uh, to have stuff. Oh yeah, and then the big dog of the pack, Yorian. Nice. Yes, let's see what Yorian is banking out. A buck 25. Yes. And then our so alter the art. Companion. It's the cheater. Yeah. There's actually the name of their hide or something is Chit. Chitty. I can't remember. I was reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of different yeah. creatures, and there's something about their. Wow, it really doesn't like that card. Wow, focus wise. There we go. Yeah. There it is. Boom! That's a Chitter and Mofo. And that that's that can be pretty nasty. You get something that's throwing your stuff out of your graveyard. Oh yeah, for sure. Any uh, there's um. The big one that uh, is Graph Digger's Cage, and it just says, things can't leave the graveyard, have a nice day, and it's a one mana artifact. That yeah, is yeah. one of the best uh, sideboards right now. Oh, that is pretty good. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Yeah, I mean, you most likely get that down on your fourth turn. And if they, and they don't take it away, you just have a um, have a, a, a sack outlet, or just that's tough for your opponents to constantly deal with. Yep, definitely. 
Yeah, and then most of these. I might. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do this for all of them because this, you know, these cards are all well and good, but uh, they're not really the highlight of it all. Oh yeah, pop through and take a peek closer at the rares, mythics, and any good uncommons that you grab. Yes. I really do like this idea. I mean, I always sound like that guy, but I'm like, I had this idea years ago. <laughs> Just to right. me. Yeah, it really helps with new players. Um, whenever I'd be teaching someone, i go, oh, here you go. Uh, here, this, this makes sure it has hex proof or make a symbol or something. Yep. My big idea is... Um, make deck sleeves that have little whiteboard parts at the bottom that you can write on. Right. So um, you can write extra information on it or put little stickers or something. A little card, card, and card chalkboard almost. But yes, exactly. Boom. It's pretty cool getting the, the triomes. Hey, and that's a triome. Anytime you get a rare land, those always are worth a couple bucks. Five dollar thirty six cent. Very nice. And uh, zenith flare. I'm interested if those have any price value because of thirty cents, which is yeah, okay. Yeah. I think the most expensive uncommon I've ever seen um, was uh, you attack with a creature. This turn you draw two cards. Right. So that was a one of any in a blue. And I can't remember the name of it for the life of me right now, but it came from Ixalan. And it was like a buck sixty. Mm hmm. Ooh. Wow. This dog's going to be worth some uh, money. Go to Savai Trail. Yeah. Is that the one I just opened? No, in Doth. Let's see what those suckers are looking for. Showcase. My luck, it's not going to pick it up with the app. Yeah, I'm going to have to manually put it in. Seven dollars and thirty-two cents. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ain't it? That's got to be some of the best art I've seen in years. On uh, for just something you pull out of the pack. Yep. Um, a lot of times you'll have to buy a special, um, you know, case or special pack set, box set, just to you know get those. So. Yeah, just to get that extra bonus, cool art is always a plus. Hell yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got. Wow! What do you got? I think these are gonna be... Another Triome, nice. Yeah, I gotta imagine these will be sought after to some extent because of their, their cycling on their... Nine twenty two paper on MTG Goldfish for the Ketria Triome, that's not bad. Oh, wow, that is very good. It's too bad it's not picking it up. Um, I dig the art on that one too, again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mid mid range price at seven eighty two. Yep. Which is uh, very close, it's still a great price. Yep. Um, that's fantastic. And uh, so far, we're up to $38 in cards. And, uh, most likely, I'll probably, I'm hoping I'll hit the box value, which means I'll be able to resell value at least, you know, $70 or $80 worth. And right. That'll make it um, worth my while. I haven't even added in the price of um, uh, the, the other box topper, the promo card that comes with it. The, it's like a $16 Godzilla. That's a pretty land. This light uh, does yeah. a great job of picking up the, um, the foil. Get that hollow, yeah. I haven't, uh, 
I kept trying to, it's those lights I showed you, the FIET, or F-E-I-T, uh, with the specialty um, light LED diodes. I should yep. have showed it on the camera, but it probably wouldn't show up. Uh, this is my rare. I don't. I can't imagine this is more than a couple dollars. Predictable cycle. Cycling ability of another non land would cause you to draw instead exile, top your library. I do feel like this cycling card, off. Still, I still think there's. We're going to see something like this once rotation hits. We'll see. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if we'll. You might see this played with other stuff, maybe as a sideboard or something. Yeah. Uh, play two of these against a mono red deck if you've got some sort of. Because you can play it in a white deck. Or, um, Gives everything you got flying. That can be that can be useful. Um, I think it gives everybody uh, creatures you control with flying have spells your opponent cast to target this creature oh, costs two red. more. So if you had a bunch of uh, like in a in a perfect world you would play um, you play a lunar brood moth Ooh. and this guy out, and so all your creatures that die would come back as flyers and then cost two more to target with any but still that's a lot of work to get a little bit of value yeah of like you said in a, in a specific condition sideboard type of deal might be of good use though I still wish I would have went back I would I'm, I really last night was, okay, I'm gonna spend the extra 20 bucks and get more gems and go for the second round but it's a lot of what? Oh, doggy! You got a big dog? I did, but I just wanted to show you that first. <laughs> hey, a beautiful swamp skull. Whoa. I'm Mahalo. hoping this is one of the money cards. Snap, de spandex, apex hunter. Spandex. A, let's see. Whenever this That's the alternative mutant, art. Four damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls and gain four life. There we go. That's a good. I doubt it's going to pick up the showcase version. I'm not sure why the app doesn't like the showcase version. It likes everything else. Whenever this creature mutates, four damage to target creature, or planeswalker, and four life. Wow, never mind. It's only $3. Three bucks. Yeah. I guess he's just not played very much. I, as much as I play, you think I would... I used to really go hard on knowing the prices and everything um, and then I would go to the store and trade all the time and I just knew, I knew everything because the first couple months of playing Magic the Gathering I traded some like showcase cards for like an uncommon yep. and it was like oh and then I looked at it like and I was like wow that was a $34 card I traded for a 15 cent card Shit. And it's like that fucking kid got the best of me, little jerk. <laughs> Hello, uh, turd, get off my lawn. Yes, exactly. That's our boy, right. Pistolon Jerk. We got a CG in the house. Very nice. I, um, uh, I wonder what. 42 cents, yeah. But, uh, you know, it all adds up at the end of the day. Yeah, that's a fun card to have end up playing it for any reason yes I have um, it is it's it's tough because some of these cards are just such targets because they do kind of get out of control and mm -hmm. like um, yeah pretty much right now what's super hot in, or in the meta is just the cycling decks and Luris that ability to play things back from the graveyard or the three color with Urian yep and uh, and fires oh these are the listen, I can't imagine these are anything of extreme value Genesis ultimatum see if he's gonna... yeah. looking at 46 cents but overall it is nice to have the cards yep this card I agree is there pain in the butt and I keep seeing it on arena 
What's the Thunder Raptor deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the number of instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard if that creature planeswalker yeah. will die to exile instead? So, you know, all of a sudden you're getting um, maybe six damage to any target right. for two. Oh, I gotta go grab my cup of coffee. Don't forget about them beans, buddy. I'll be right back. And we got one of these little crackheads. <laughs> No, oh, the Dreamtail Heron. I've had some fun with that card, though. That can be that can be useful. Oh, whenever it mutates, draw a card. That's nice. All right, I'd be right back. Yes, sir. We'll carry on the Ikoria battle. that uh music in the background it sound pretty good is it sounds great cool i figured i kind of checked it before everything and was making sure the sound would be i kind of do like a little background sound yep adds a little fun to it yeah i think it's, sometimes if it's just too loud then it's a bit overpowering to the, the conversation exactly so This guy's got to be worth a buck or two. What do we got? Uh, we have got Kenan. Kenan. Kenan from Kenan and Kel. Oh, yeah. Put that in the wallet. I just carry around Magic the Gathering cards in my wallet these days. What do you, what do you got on... Uh, Pulled up Kinnon, and it's between ten and twelve dollars. Yep, yeah, I got ten. And that's just for the regular. On the TCG app. That's yep. Kind of a good comparison too, as we go through. Just see using what... a few different sources to see the range. Yep, it's like using it's... Weeble, Robinhood, and Ameritrade to get it's and a good card. Yahoo, just to find out what one stock is doing, and they all have three different prices. <laughs> I'd say Kinnon might be one of the best ones that we've pulled so far out of that box. For sure, I think it's, uh, besides the um, Showcase Lands, yep. is the most expensive. And bringing us up, we're at $53, and we still got a good chunk of packs to go. And we got another Rogrin Triome, which is going to be the most expensive, i got to imagine, right now, because... With the sweet, sweet red, white, and blue. That's it. See what we pull out here. Six seventy nine. Yeah, it's right up at the top there. Yes, sir. But whoop, we don't. Oh, stop adding them. That's the only problem with the TCG player app. Is sometimes it'll just start adding. It, sometimes all the cards. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Try to save some battery. This, I really like this. I don't, like in the one ofs and the best of one. Oh, some Reptilian Reflection, yeah. You've used that card in a couple of decks on me, and that's been a neat mechanic to add and hard to over overcome. And then there's the Starlight Mystic. I want to try, basically, if I could get this down for two or yep. one, um, it's, a, it's a fun idea. It might not be the best idea, but. And then, and there you go. And then, so. Um, so you go uh, Reptilian Reflection. Um, hopefully it stays on the board till next turn. Uh, or it has haste if you have enough mana. 
you play it, then you cycle. Yeah. It comes to life. Uh, so you would need a total of six mana, but you do hit for uh, ten with yep. Devil Strike and Trample and Haste. And you get to discard a card and draw a card. So it's a strong, it's a very strong turn. Um, it's why the cycle index just have so much bite to them. You just, yeah, basically the ability to draw your whole deck and find what you need. Yep. Um, very powerful. And then we have whenever this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. Ooh. I have weird eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna cavern whisper, is it? That's the name of my butthole <laughs> when I fart. Wow. <laughs> Not an expensive card, but that's a fucking cool bit of art right there, I'd say. Yeah, I wonder if maybe there'll be people selling sets of these just for the art. A lot of people who do the box opening videos, um, they do it in fast motion because it takes so long. But this is a live stream. So. Yeah, oh, a little bash. bit of a fun way to do it, I think. Hey, yeah, that's see. a fun one, man. Let's see what that's. Uh, let's see what Obash is. I know it's Obash, but <laughs> let's see what Obash rings up as. I mean, I got a between 89 cents and a buck for oh, the paper, wow. non foil. Yeah. I mean, Not must, bad for a rare. He must have a showcase. Yeah, 75 cents here. Yep. Wow, honestly, because of his ability and his play, I was expecting a little more, but... Let's see, nothing. Prolific enough in the deck pulls that people are getting a lot of it, maybe. Yeah, basically, uh, every cards are just like stocks. The more of them there are, the less they're worth. Hey, I know, I do, I just like the card, I like the art. I tried playing it in the cycle deck, but it just the, doesn't uh, fit properly. The, the promo Obosh is like four bucks. The Duro is at 80 cents on TCG. Nice. The tough part is any card below five dollars <throat> yep. is not really, you know, it's... Still gonna be enough of them that it's gonna be not as easy to get rid of it. Yeah, no one really seeks after. Oh, let's see what this lady's kicking around at. We pull. It's oh, we got a Narset of Ancient Way. It's. I'm wondering. There must be a way to set up the TCG Player app uh, through my webcam, and then so you can see it. Yeah, and as soon as I put it up yeah. under the cam, it blinks up on the screen and adds to the price. Oh, yeah, definitely. I could even hand you off a video feed if you wanted so we could have a little corner windows and stuff. Yeah. 588 for Narset. Nope, I don't have two Narsets. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to set that up um, for next time. I know what we'll do is we'll do something with either Discord and... But there is also, um, I believe, with you, OBS Ninja, if you gave me... Uh, IP address or something that I could do yeah and then it would actually literally take that through the Wi-Fi and I'm not exactly 100 sure if what I'm saying is correct but it's something of that nature you're not far off at all that's pretty much exactly it very nice I would just have a, a live link that you could pull the feed from that guy's hey up. another cabin whisperer too bad he's not big dollars we basically just put those on top of the really nice cards to protect them <laughs> it's a guardian card. That's it. All right. Oh yeah, these can't be where I haven't even seen them played. <clears throat> hey, the thing is, just because we don't see it in standard doesn't mean that it isn't popular in uh, modern or something and might hold some value. Right. Yeah, fifty-seven cents. Yeah, yeah, I got between 57 and 70 over here on MTG Goldfish. I made a lot of, I made quite a bit of money off of um, uh, Eldrain hey, uh, for resale value. I think, if I recall, it was almost 300 something dollars off of one box. 
I love that trumpeting Nar art. That's wicked cool. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what style that is. It's kind of comic book. It's a little bit new age, but it's more of the old school, yep. like early 90s comic style. Yeah, definitely. I'm trying to think. I, did, I know the, the showcase art of certain cards is worth a lot of money. Um, I, did, I sold the Oko last time. That was yep. big dollars. Um, yeah, I think what they say is your your average. I think two or three mythics in a box, thirty two cents. Curious to see how that stacks out. For which one? The the stat you just gave. See uh, how many you end up winding with. Oh yeah, so far we have two, I believe. We have the. Um, Narsa and uh, the three dollar one and Kinnan Bonder Prodigy. Oh, and Snapdex Apex. So we're at three mythics. Yeah, buddy. So Keep the mythic train rolling. Toot toot. I'd like to hit a couple of those. I'd like to hit a couple of the fifty dollar cards. It, so, but Got a ways to go yet. It could happen. Yes. Hit the jackpot on this one. We're rooting for it. Oh, look at that! Another mythic, as we speak of it. Um, hey. There might be a lot of mythics in this set, so they might have a few. More. I have had a good bit of fun with that guy as a. Yeah, this is your. Uh, one of your. Um, yes, you play this uh, quite a bit. And it is a quite a card to come up against because you get to return any. any target creature card with total power. Any number. So yeah, you can bring back uh, 10 1 1s, right? That's a, that's a 7 $8 card right there. That's good. It better be. I want some money. Yep, we got 644 through TCG. Yep. And, uh, some more of this interesting art. Regal Leosaur. Another nice fun mutator card there. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Believe it or not, a lot of these cards I just haven't even... Just been Not particularly on expensive, that one. That one's a quarter. Yeah. My mono white deck. Mm -hmm. I'll probably live stream some play with that at some point today, or maybe. This we should... should definitely do more of this often. Yeah. Even just if we do this while we um, just chat while we play some Magic the Gathering Arena. Yep. Talk about different decks and different cards and strategies. And find that uh, if uh, you can get a small following of people who enjoy that um, you're you know and it's yeah we got I see I don't see this play well yeah let's make it happen <clears throat> Giganta yeah don't you have that as a brawl yeah for commander three, right just a 58 cent yeah that's what I about see and we got a, a death lion Ooh, Necro, Necro Panther. Panther. Yeah. It's a cute little bugger. I wonder if it's that's uh, the one that looks a lot like uh, Luris. I was gonna say, is it related to Luris? Could be. Is, is it? Is it a Luris? Right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, nothing too special in here. I mean, even at the end of the day, you can. I mean, they're both cat nightmares. Okay. And they look identical if you look at a picture between the two. Same amount of eyes and all that. So. Loris is just like a mama cat or something, I noticed. It. Right. Yeah. That's the commander. Loris is like, I'm the king Necro Panther. These are the uh, companion placements. Because technically a companion oh, yeah. is in your sideboard. Yep. Which is interesting. Alright, we got another. We are mythic fucking rich today. Hey, I like to hear that. Mm -hmm. We got a Riel. That's a fun one to play on the, uh, oh, what is it? Is it side of things? That might have some... Nice, yeah, that's what value. I see here, too. <clears throat> that peeped up to 10 for a while there, back at the beginning of April. Probably. So you'll notice when, right before sets come out, like, uh, so what happens is everyone plays the pre-release. And so there's only a very small pool of cards in the market. 
and then yep. and the cards will then be worth almost double the amount. And by the first week they come out, everything drops half. Um, and some will then get more expensive, but the majority of the cards drop off <coughs> completely um, price-wise. I learned that the hard way uh, with Dominaria. Satiable Hemophage. What does phage mean? Destruction? Blood Destroyer? Um, I think phage is uh, short for, like, bacteriophage, technically. It's a mm -hmm. virus that parasitizes something yeah, by infecting and reproducing in it. I've heard, like, there's, there, like, in, um... Uh, what was that game? Uh, Jeez, I so can't think case, about it. Blood. With the... Yeah, hemophagia. Blood. Um, hemato. Hemo. Um, there was the necrophage... Um, in one of the games. Wow, it's one of my favorite games. Uh, here, let me get to... Let me see if I can look it up real quick. Oh, that's why I shouldn't be breaking or using another thing. Popular EA games. Video games frequently mentioned on the web include Spore, Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order, Apex Legends, and others. It's not Do any of those ring a bell? No, okay. Mass Effect. There we Mass go. Mass Effect, okay, for sure, for sure. I didn't play a lot of that. It was a little bit too tedious for me, but what a cool story, though. Yeah, I played through... All right, and I'm back. Can you, I don't know, can you hear that music a little bit or just barely through the live Let me stream? pop in the live stream and turn it up. Give me a little, uh, a little test. See where we at. I think we still have... Right now I can't really hear it. That's what I figured. 45 decibels minus 40. There that, we go. There it is. That's, yeah. So that was kind Perfect. of my... All right. Sweet. Thank you, Catastrophe. Making it happen. Live on Proximus Regions channel. I know, it's like, not only do we do Magic the Gathering box openings, but we also teach you tech stuff. Just for fun. Through our own necessity to learn how to do tech stuff. Not break things, hopefully. I do accidentally do that quite a lot. I haven't hey, even seen same this here. card. What do we got? Layer on the table. Let's Hardy see. Hardy Fondler. <laughs> Frontland Felidar. Interesting. Is that that's just the standard print. It's not a not a valuable card. But what we got? Vigilance creatures you control with vigilance have a for cost of one and a tap tap target creature. A lot of people. I don't know if that's worth four, but this might be why we haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's probably just like one. You know. So there's a whole set of cards that get... This is a double rare pack. Um, Colossification. Yeah. That's a fun one. And it's a cat. It's hard as shit to play. And the people like the cats, so... 40 cents. Put it in the box. Of money. <laughs> you know, I always... I skip by the uncommons. Uh, afterwards, I'll go through and check them, because so there's, there's certain uncommons that might be worth couple bucks now 16 cents um, but throughout the different sets there's been certain uncommons that were worth you know seven eight bucks yeah yeah Just have a really there. unique and helpful mechanic going on so believe it or not even with you know there's quite a bit of one dollar we have, I have 35 cards in the in the bank and it's um 
total of 81.84. Yep. So I would say I actually have about forty dollars worth of actual card value there. Gotcha. Like sellable card value. Yep. Yep. Hunted nightmare. Familiar with that feller? Yeah. What is that? I'm gonna try to reset the camera <coughs> focus. Yes. Let's see if we can get that going there. What does Hunter Nightmare come up as? Oof. He is a nightmare, price wise. <laughs> Not much value sitting on the nightmare. It's and it's a tricky card to use. It's good if you're trying to get a little bit of a devotion to black, going for the old Gary, yeah. get Gray Merchant out there. But I think the the actual value is if you you get a four or five for three with menace, and then you destroy it. You maybe uh, then you can kill the other person's creature that you give the yeah. touch to. Yeah, use it kind of as a creature wipe of sorts. Or yeah, if you can then take their creature and. Uh huh. So then you you play Hunted Nightmare, give their creature Death Touch, then you use a card like, um, oh, I can't think of it, but you take their card, you know, mm -hmm. untap it, give it haste, and then have that card fight one of their cards and kill one of their cards. Right, right, oh yeah, that think, can have quite the bite to it. Or you can just sacrifice it, but this has seen quite a bit of play. Yeah, Sea Dasher is fun, man. I've got that in a few different decks I've been messing with. Let's see if, uh... it's... Buck 50, yeah. I'm still got my fingers crossed. I'm interested what these uh, artifacts, three color, no. The Zavai crystals. These. Yeah, you got one up. See, the interesting part is I have cycling, but it's cycling for two, and they have cards that you pay three, and you get any color mana, and a scry or something. Right. So it just, just doesn't really do anything. There. And there's cards that are better suited to fit that place in a role like Brawl or Commander or something like that. A lot of times, those cards, I, in my opinion, are there just for um, uh, limited for uh, draft. Right. It's like, okay, cool, and now I have some decent color options in draft. And yeah, I can use this here. Yes. And that's a little... Start rolling into the standard life, and it's not as applicable anymore. Yes. There's a lot of cards that you'll go, what is that even for? Well, I never saw it. Oh, that's because it is expressly for um, uh, limited what have you got next I do like this one and the tokens Sky it trades are fantastic right. yeah you have definitely uh, thrown up a nasty battle with that bugger yeah I can't it's imagine it's for. can't imagine it's worth anything but 29 whole cents almost cards like that I don't even want to count, but I do want to just see my total rare and mythic count at the end. Yeah. Have it in there. Show off all the mythics, do a review. Let's see if I can. I feel like I'm getting some weird uh, focusing things going on. There we go. Got a little parcel beast with the uh, promo art. Yes. Nice. A reprinting Evolving Wild, which are cool. This is... <laughs> I, I don't know, I just like the art. Oh, I got your backpack! Uh, yeah. honor, yes. You know, it reminds me of, like, at music festivals, there'd always be, like, that one guy who would have his, like, little wolfhound dog mm -hmm. who would run up and steal your hot dog or pizza. Mm -hmm. And you'd go, and you'd be like, dude, I just paid $8 for a fucking slice of pizza. And... And your dog ate it. Oh, it's, I don't know, man. I fucking don't even own shoes. <laughs> right. Uh, exactly. It's like, I only have fucking $32. It's Sunday, and I spent all my money on partying. Oh, uh, I don't know. What are you going to do? Tell the dog to ask for it back? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. I, want, I would like your dog to barf it back up, and then... 
I haven't seen this played at all, but Zerda, the Dawn Walker. Yeah, it's a cool art. It, it, it is. The cool Dawn art. Waker, excuse me. I saw it. It's buck twenty. What I'll do is I'll probably just put them on marketplace as like a package deal for some of the art. You know, hmm. five bucks for all the cards or something. Because then. You know, most people have to go and buy them separately online, or yep. uh, they have to open a bunch of packs to maybe get it, but if they can... It's kind of like the bundle deals. Some All right. Extent. Still got quite a few packs. What do we got left? Wow, good. Um, let's see. Still got one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. Nine opportunities to increase our total past $85. Well, 50 minutes into the stream, we've gone through a box of Ikoria boosters down to the last nine. What do you think could be in there? Is there anything in particular you'd like to A feather token. Past? I do. Uh, there was cards I looked at. Yeah, I'd like to... Hey, Everquill feather. I'd like to open one of the showcases that are worth like 50 bucks, but I've already opened... Hit it. Never, I don't even see it played. There's no red, white, and yeah, 36 cents. I'd like to. Snapbacks. I was really hoping for one of those big dollar cards, and it's got to be in here. But I mean, there's a there's that's no, there's Cloud Piercer, but yep, alt art. Yep. I can't. Imagine. Oh, yeah, I like the art on that. That's cool. Yes, I like it quite a bit. Sadly, it's only worth $12. and Generally, the stream that we're in currently is a price-finding stream and a, a viability of cards, but overall, I like all the art. I really like the cards. I hope it doesn't sound too much like I'm being too, uh, you know, discriminating against the cards too much only based on their value or playability, because at the end of the day, they're all super cool. Yeah, we are just... I, th I, I can't imagine that I'm going to get... Any more mythics, or even if we get a rare that's worth something, buck forty-seven. I like this card. How the cat brushing by the boot—that's just something that's so cat-like. The garrison cat. Yep, I've seen that used in a couple of interesting maneuvers as well. You know when the cats walk by though, and they just brush by your foot. Wow! And it's like, oh hi, what are you doing? Scratching your side? Just saying hello? You just got any fish? You got any fish for snacks? All right, let's. What do we got next on the list? Clicking buttons. Bum clicking. Bum bum. I Korea. Come down to your local I Korea store and we will sell you cabinets to put into your room. Yes, that. I don't know, it's uh. <clears throat> gotta imagine that's gotta be above a dollar. But a lava brink. No. Wow. I'll let you look up the price on that one. <laughs> Is that the uh, standard or promo? Uh, it's standard. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah, 21 cent. Just got this migratory great horn. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like I've played that in a green deck to some interest. Not particularly expensive card. Oh yeah, I'm surprised how low the value is on some of these. Maybe when did you say you saw the banning list comes out? Uh, we get one tomorrow. And that's probably why the prices are so low. Once we find out what's banned and what's not, other cards will start to see some value. Yep. We got a Slither Wisp. 
I see yeah. that played, but it's not. Twenty nine cents. Yeah. Honestly, don't think we're gonna get a return value on this box, which would have been one hundred and twenty dollars. Now I haven't added in. We did get another little wolf bucket. Uh, Hello, wolf bucket. Let me see, just for giggle shits. Put that. Oh, here it is. I think I actually opened the stream out with this. This little guy. Hello. So, and that last I looked, there was a. Thriller, King of Monsters. Gold. Candela. King. Baling. When you get like a fifty dollar card or something, it's like ding, 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 ding. yeah, sixteen bucks. Yeah. So that instantly brings us up to a hundred and four dollars. Um, and how many packs are left? We're not, you know, we're not out of it yet. We got five packs left. After this one, we got four. We'll give you the old ASMR pack opening. Oh, that glue peeling. Watching the decibels peak out. How did that sound? Hard, hard on the ears. I mean, they have a good, decent headset on, so it just sounded Woo! like really bad pack opening. Well, I don't. I can't imagine he's more than five bucks, but it is a nice card to have. Hello, Lovers. He's probably the most popular. Look at the little baby in the background. And my baby Necro Panther. Yeah, let's do a side by side of uh, Luris and. Oh, five, six bucks. Yeah, bring it up. Let's see it. I have 77 over here. All right, let me go through my pile. Of... Can make a comparison. We'll finally well, let's make a final determination on whether Lurus and Necro Panther are related. I would imagine, just by association, they're in the same familial branch, genotype. Oh, there he is, Death Kitten. Oh, it's such a beautiful day out here. Birds is chirping. Air is nice and cool. Got a crispness that has not been present. So, hey. I don't see multiple feet. It's got. It's this. Uh, that one has two two tails too. Yeah, let me try right? to get better. I think. They're both cat nightmares. I got the four eyed thing going on. I mean, Luris looks a little more badass. He's got the smoking fur and the smoking mane. Yeah, what's up with that? Is he uh, he's got, he's addicted to tobacco? Maybe. <laughs> Just... There we go. Wow. I'm sorry about my inability to find a nice little steady. That's about as good as it's getting right now. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm saying they're related. Oh, yeah. I mean, one just has hair, smoky hair. They both have the dual eyes. They have the same ears. One has longer claws. One has a little baby with a little smoky head in the background. <laughs> I got a little smoky head. My mom's you angry. The, the baby is related to the, manic, the, the mechanic? Yes. I think that is thematic. Uh, permanent Do you spell think the baby permanent. goes and digs out the spell that you can cast of CMC less than two? I would almost think that that is the idea is that it comes with another little one. Yeah. And if it's a necro panther, it brings stuff back from the dead or has something to do with the dead. Ooh. And it's a cat nightmare, so it would be bringing stuff back from the graveyard or maybe. Because it. In this, you know, in magic, you know, things are always thematic, but they're loose. Yeah, like we could also be the maybe the baby Loris of the Dream Den in there. And the big Loris of the Dream Den is protecting us. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Technically, I believe we're supposed to be a mage that would be casting 
Luris, and then Luris would bring something back from the graveyard, but I'm totally cool with being a tiny baby kitten. It could be like an avatar, you know? Yes. I'm, I'm okay with either one. Um, what I think it would represent more, in that, as I think about it, is there's a lot of cat cards yes. that are two uh, or one, um, especially in the modern and legacy setup. So once you get Luris down, um, as soon as you play it, you get you know a little, a little smaller cat would come with it. You just start firing them off. Feels odd to try to ASMR the packs. I can't wait to listen to this. <laughs> oh, we've got a fucking Sharknado token. Hey, look at that. I know, he does got a fucking mouth on him. Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys, I'm flying in a tornado. Watch out! I got a... <laughs> <laughs> the tail flapping all over the place. I'm a shark. I don't even know how I learned to fly, but I'm doing it. Uh, we're hitting some of the companions. Ooh, what do we got? Uh, this is a played, hey. played card. Karuga. Not a necrophage, but a macro sage. Check it out now, cause the game is gonna play as MTG. And I'm a dinosaur. I don't really care, cause I'm a, a man of poor. Whoa, you man of rich. Hit me with the stitches. Ba ba da ba chee, ba ba dum ba da hitches. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a dinosaur hippo. And I bust the ripple. Hip hop upon a miss. My rhymes are bottomless. So, shout out to. Whoa! 39 cents. I was not expecting that to be quite honest. Alright. Oh, well, either way, we're sitting at 110. And that's including that other specialty box topper. What I'd like to do is just have a bunch of those little the black packs that I first opened. Yep. That would be nice. Also, the game store is doing. Oh, hey, look. Foil giant. That's that's cool. Hey, that's just man. cool by itself. That's just fun to have. Exactly. Yeah. That's nice. Price. We're seeing about a buck, two bucks, depending on where I look. Is it not weird? Oh, it's just adding it. Over and over again to the ones I already have. More and more. My Eventually you'll have 60 crystalline giants. I don't think there's a way to sort by... Maybe... And, uh, yeah, I don't have six freaking crystalline giants. You have two. There's a way to change it in here, but... Uh, yeah. Weird. Just extend to the art, and none of them are really that expensive. You gotta imagine that, um... We'll just go with the promo price, which is 99 cents. So, still, yeah. that's just a fun one to have. And we got this guy. Let's see if he's worth anything. I do see him played in the mono green Stompy. I got a feeling he might be. Oh, yeah. Him. What do you think? I'm gonna say three bucks. Kolga. And that's just a regular. What's the regular card name again? Kolga the Titanate. This isn't a um a double. It's not a layer. Oh okay. But I was way off of my price. So I was surprised at how inexpensive a lot of these cards are. I mean, that Corey has been out for oh, a while yeah. now. Alright, we're down to just just two packs, people. Two packs to go. Let's see what's remaining. In the Proximus Region live stream box opening, I Corey in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I did that. Oh my god, it's a dinosaur token with Hust. Hey, check that guy out. Hust. Yeah, we've got... Hust pasta. We just got a, Ze a Death's Oasis, Oasis, which is a cool card. Um, and every non-token creature you control dies. So a creature dies. Put the top two cards of your library in your graveyard. Then return <coughs> yep. a creature card with a lesser converted mana cost. Once again, there's a good example of converted mana cost, where it would definitely be the whole mana cost yep. at the top. Um, so you would have, you know, if you throw uh, in the creature that died. Oh, okay, so you sack a 6-6, six, six, goes into the graveyard, put two of your, you know, top, two top two cards of your graveyard, then pull another 6-6 six, six back out of your graveyard. Yep. Sacrifice that's why you gain life equal to the greatest converted mana cost in the Christian. I see you know, it's got some got some options. Is that something in the toolkit? Thirty cents. Alright, that's that's really it. We got one more pack, but I'm never gonna open it. I'm gonna leave it unopened forever. Yep. No, I'm not gonna do that. I have done that before for like a week, hoping that somehow inside the pack the quantum Schrodinger I'm, le I'm letting it be anything right now. Yes. I'm gonna manifest it. It is one of the most expensive cards ever. Here, we'll even, we'll do it, uh, a little. So, uh, the rares used to be at the back. Yeah. We'll do it, uh, we'll have some fun with it. Here, you know what? So, I saw something in this foil there. Sandworm. That's a pain in the ass. Yep, yep. There's literally pack wrappers just flying around my room. It's just a cool looking card. Yep. Oh, uh, you know what? I think that, that can't be the first one we saw. Oh. Oh, uh, hey. Can't imagine. Do you anticipate? Oh, yeah, it's. We got a Labyrinth sure. Raptor. So this is 26 cents. So nothing really. Let's see. We'll go through the price. This is the pile of rares and things. And all the other. Oh, yeah. And this guy. Oh, yeah. And this one. Yeah, sure. I am a little like. Not disappointed. I did get a solid value, but I was expecting to get some bigger numbers. Let's go sort by price, high to low. <clears throat> Let's go up. All right, Godzilla, King of Monsters, sixteen dollars. Kinnan Binder, Bonder Prodigy, ten dollars. Uh, we've got three Triomes worth about seven bucks a piece. Apex of Death, six bucks. Narset of Ancient Way, six bucks. Lurus, six bucks. Another Indatha Triome, six bucks. So we got four Triomes. Uh, oh, the Destroyer. Destroyer. Perfect Life Form is uh, six bucks. Ryo and the Everway, six bucks. Sapphire Triome, six bucks. Shark Typhoon, five bucks. Snapdex, three. And then everything below that is two dollars, and so there's yep, yep. About, about twenty or so cards uh, that are not. I don't, I don't like using the word useless or worthless, but um, once they're get, going to be easy to get. Yeah, they're not. No one's gonna. If I post them, no one's gonna be going. Hey, can I uh, buy that? Let one? me get a little bit of that action. So that's that kind of that's kind of a kick in the balls. I was hoping to honestly get um, some more, like Jesus. Last time I had, uh, I still have uh, the fabled passage that was worth like sixteen twenty bucks. Kenrith was worth you know like eight bucks. Yeah. Uh, Oko that was a thirty dollar card. Um, 
I just had a bunch of cards, you know, that sold for 150 bucks right off the bat. Um, then I had another chunk of cards for a hundred, about two fifty off of a box, which is yeah. a real nice yeah. price. So I, if I look at that, I think even if I sell all the triomes and stuff, I mean, even if I sold the whole box, I would still only have like a hundred dollars worth. It would be just to. I would still end up with all of the extra cards, but I'd have to sell all the cards that were good in any capacity. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, not the best box ever. Uh, but it was, you know, fun to open. And uh, either way, it's a long-term investment. i got to imagine I can still package up a bunch of them and maybe sell 20 bucks for all of the commons and uncommons or something just to add right. some more value like I think that might be I'm just trying to find different ways to find value out of the cards um, but yeah that's um, I'm not disappointed but I think that's if you watch like Tolarian Community College uh, and a couple of these other guys that's kind of what they do they say, yeah, go through yeah, and they just the say the game. yeah they just, it's not, I guess disappointed isn't the right word. It's just like, oh, that's not the greatest box ever. Right. But it does go with the Wizards um, kind of standard, and I I at least got my value worth, if that makes sense. I got, you know, yep. um, about $100 worth of cards. So, Let's see. And, you know, I didn't see a Luca. Or I didn't, nope. I didn't, nope. see didn't hit any of that end. Any of the. And the, let's see if I look. What are the big money cards? Or do you have the list open? I don't actually. As a matter of fact, I've already closed it. Let me see. Let me pull it back up. Yeah, price. Because I know there was some big money. Here we go. Acuria. Fiend Artisan, 1750. Well, geez, I guess. Where are the maybe I mean I, I I'm trying to find the showcase arts because those were the extra big money ones. The only thing more expensive that I could have got was maybe a fiend artisan and Luca ten bucks. But I did get or I did, oh I didn't see a luminous brood moth, luminous brood dude. Um, not an extremely high value set. Did get a lot of mythics. Yep, yep. Um, let me see something here. Um, uh, Ikoria Showcase. And then we'll, we'll end the stream shortly because they're probably hitting a good amount of time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was going to say thank you for having me along for the adventure. It was Hell fun yeah. to see the deck opening and participate. In life, Are you so. still watching the live stream? Yeah, I've kept it up in the background. Cause yeah, nice. We're the, I've got two two people watching, so that's me and you. Surprised I don't get uh, more viewers. I have a decent amount of subscribers, but oh, you know, throw it uh, some good tags and leave it up, and people will probably stumble across it that are into this sort of thing. I look for this sort of thing, watch people open it, and that. Yeah, hopefully this is a, a decent conversation. Yeah, the tags are really important. I found, uh, Korea yeah. showcase cards, kingdom. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought I had saw some cards that were worth a lot more money. Like the Gem Razor Showcase, yeah. Oh, maybe that's not even worth anything. It's buck twenty-five. So I guess for an Ikoria box, it looks like I did pretty good. I am I could have sworn I saw some big money. Yeah, I actually hit some of the top end of them. Yeah. It looks right now of the newer stuff that Theros has some, the more expensive card with Euros. Yes. Yeah, that you're dude, a lot. When I was at, um, I went and played that one draft, and I traded one pack with a guy. Yep. And that had a fucking euro in it. I was just like, gah! I was like, no. oh, man, why did I give away my euro? Right. But uh, the kid's a nice kid. He always goes in there. He always, uh, he goes and plays hard, and then he's a bit sad. Sometimes he doesn't do super well. And, uh, so totally worth it. 
Oh, yeah, I was just like, hey, man, you know, good for you. Rock out. Yeah. So. Enjoy it, right? That's it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's only 25 bucks at the end of the day, so. Yeah, buddy. All right, everybody. This has been a Proximus Regent Extraordinaire Entertainment Productions featuring uh, Kytastrophe here. We appreciate you guys viewing and uh, keep an eye out for lots more great content. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to love the ones you're with. See you all soon.